This is the future. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and uh, excuse the voice I've got a bit of laryngitis so I'm not supposed to talk too much but I have to make this video so as you guys can see we have a leaking radiator and we're going to attempt to repair it up to this point in the video I just removed all the pipes and hoses that connect to the radiator and the second step was to remove the fan from the radiator it just mounts with two bolts and then it slides in at the bottom of the radiator on those brackets so it just bolted there and it slid in onto that bracket over there and that's where it's leaking it's uh, leaking next to the o-ring or d-ring or seal or gasket or whatever you want to call it with a plastic tank connects to the core of the radiator so the next step is to remove the radiator I inspected the radiator for obvious signs of damage, but I could not find any. It is leaking there at the top end where the um, tank connects to the core there. And I thought I'm going to just take uh, pliers or vice grip and just see if I can clamp the clamps a bit tighter because I was thinking maybe the clamps were uh, too loose. And um, also there was a one spot at the bottom of the radiator where there was a, it seems like a stone that hit it and that was the second place where the radiator was leaking i took my vice grip and adjusted it this to a, a nice tight setting and i went through all the clamps re-clamping them or just making sure they're all nice and close okay time to put the radiator back since i didn't see any obvious damage um, after recrimping everything, I'm just going to put the radiator back, connect all the hoses, put the fan back, fill it up with water, and then we're going to test it. And if it still leaks, we've got a plan B. Okay, guys, um, the crimping didn't work. It started leaking again. So our next step, or plan B, is to put in Wayne's radiator stop leak. Idling the car with the heater on 10 minutes in and still leaking. 15 minutes into the idling the leak seems to be worse and it started leaking in the second place as well so now I've got two leaks at this time I was really getting my doubts about whether this stuff really works or not and I was kind of wanting to give up and uh, didn't think much about this product at this point believe it or not 16 minutes in the leak stopped both of them the car temperature gauge has not picked up at all and uh, I decided to switch off the engine at this point and uh, let you guys uh, show you at this point actually I wasn't sure whether the leak has actually stopped or if the reservoir was empty I decided to give it like an hour for the car to cool down a bit before I open up the reservoir to see if the water level is still fine as you guys can see, the leak has stopped and there's no more dripping on the ground. So I'm going to give it a day or so after checking the reservoir and then we'll take it for a test drive and see if it actually stopped. But as you guys can see at the top, there it is. There's still water in the reservoir and the chemical is still in there. So uh, let's give it a few minutes or a day and then we'll take the car for a test drive again and make sure that it actually worked. The next morning, we went to see if there's any water leaking anymore. I couldn't see any dripping. It all seems dry. Even if you go to the front and you go and check, there's no 
water lying at the bottom of the car. So uh, I'm sure it stopped leaking. Then uh, let's open up the reservoir and see where the water level is lying. As you guys can see, there's still water inside the reservoir and the water level is fine. So let me close the cap and then we are going to take the kids to school and see what it does. See if the temperature picks up and see if there's going to be any more water leaks by the time we come back. And the conclusion. Okay guys, so this thing is really weird. As you've seen just before, there was water leaking from the middle of the radiator when I stopped at the school. The water level is still fine when I stopped at the garage. And suddenly, the water stopped leaking again. So I don't know how this chemical actually works. So um, when it cooled down, it started leaking again, or when it heated up, it blocked it again. I'm not sure if it uh, had to wait a bit longer, but PS, it didn't leak again. The leak has stopped. It's now three or four days later, and I haven't had a leak again. It's just that morning, it started leaking and then it stopped again. Maybe the chemical was still acting or reacting to the open space. I don't know. But leave me a comment if you guys know how this chemical works or if I missed something. But like I said, at this moment in time, luckily there's no more leaks. So guys, if you liked this video, please give me a like. And then give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And um, remember to subscribe to this channel. And hit that bell icon so you can get notified of my next mess. Because I promise you, the popo hits the fan in my life at least once a week. So there will be something coming up. Anyway guys, until next time, whatever you are doing, keep it safe. And goodbye.